Hey guys and welcome. Today we'll be taking a look at the Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil comes in this nice high quality box wrapped in plastic. On the side it just says Apple Pencil and we have the Apple Pencil right up and center in front of the box. On the back we have a couple of instructions for compatibility. It says compatible with iPad Pro and this works with any iPad Pro, the 9.7, 10.5 and the 12.9 inch variants. And you've got the serial number right down there below. I bought this in Hong Kong at 788 Hong Kong dollars, which is equivalent to around 432 ringgit at the time of conversion. So let's unbox this baby. So let's remove the pencil. So you've got a lift tab over here. All you have to do is hold on to it and give it a pull. The first thing we're greeted by, designed by Apple in California. So let's lift this box and it gives us a couple of accessories and paperwork. First up we have this accessory for charging the Apple Pencil via the lightning cable that comes with the iPhone or iPad. On one side you just connect your lightning cable and on the other side you just connect your Apple Pencil and that charges the Apple Pencil. Alternatively you can charge the Apple Pencil via the lollipop way depicted on the back of the box. And on the front we have an exchangeable tip in case the tip that comes with the pencil wears out over time. In the box we have further paperwork. There's also a quick instruction sheet within the box which just shows you a quick description of the lightning connector on how to remove the cap and charge the pencil and also how to connect it to the iPad Pro so you can fast charge it and pair and of course this pencil works with Bluetooth and you get more paperwork in the box which explains the warranty information and the safety and handling of the Apple Pencil and finally in the box we have the Apple Pencil the pencil comes wrapped in this plastic which you then just unravel and here it is the Apple Pencil. Nice beautiful looking pencil with a very high gloss finish with a, a sturdy plastic body and a replaceable tip at the end. The cap comes off as such and you can just put it back and it clicks back magnetically. And now for the neat trick, whenever an Apple Pencil is placed on the floor, it rocks back and forth till it stops with the Apple logo facing up at all times. Apple is all about the small little things. And here I have the new iPad Pro 10.5 inch with the Apple Pencil. So the Apple Pencil works with Bluetooth with the iPad Pro. The first time you get the Apple Pencil, you have to pair it with the iPad Pro. And the way you do it is to remove the cap, connect it to your iPad Pro. It will prompt you to turn on Bluetooth. And when you launch your settings under Bluetooth, you're able to see Apple Pencil connected. Once you've connected it, the Apple Pencil is ready to be used. Don't forget, once you've done, replace the cap and it locks on magnetically as such. The Apple Pencil can be mainly used as a stylus for your iPad Pro. Swiping through your home screens, swiping to the right brings up the widgets panel which you can then move it up and down. And it also shows you the battery percentages of your iPad and your Apple Pencil in the uh, widgets column as such. Though weirdly enough, you can't bring the notification panel nor the control center using the Apple Pencil. You can launch app and of course the primary function would be note taking which can be done with the notes app. Launching the note apps brings us this canvas which you can then write or scribble or draw whatever you feel like at the time. You got the marker, a highlighter, pencil, ruler, an eraser and a number of colors you can choose from. So how about we start with the color red and a marker. So you can just move the ruler as such and draw on it. And there you go. Just did a, a weird looking rectangle. So you can obviously erase this, get rid of the ruler. And when we choose the highlighter, we can demonstrate the capabilities of the pencil. So when you write on it lightly, the light ink comes on, press down on it harder, it gets thicker and when you tilt the Apple Pencil, you get a nice broad stroke.
when you're done you can either save it get the eraser out to clean up your mess or just click erase all and that clears everything the 120 hertz display on the ipad pro together with the apple pencil gives you a seamless writing experience there's so minimal lag that you don't realize that you're writing on a screen this is a precision tool so other than note taking it's very useful in uh, apps such as affinity photo for example if i have this image right here which i've taken of a grand central clock you can then use the apple pencil to have minute adjustments done on photos such as if i were to choose the brightness and contrast over here and when i click on the brightness i can just move it up or down as easy as that the apple pencil enables you to do photo editing without you blocking your photos with your fingers more precise and accurate adjustments can be made with the apple pencil you can also use apps like procreate to express your creativity draw stuff on it or you can use it on apps like luma fusion by luma touch to create videos with accurate scrubbing of the timeline and basically this is where i produce all my videos that you're watching at the moment i've been using the apple pencil for about a week since i purchased it it's been a great addition a great accessory to the ipad pro and it works flawlessly this pencil takes about 20 minutes to charge from 0 to 100 from the ipad pro and it lasts about 12 hours on a single charge if you run out of uh, battery you can just plug it in for about 15 seconds and you should get about 30 minutes of use out of it the apple pencil in malaysia costs 449 ringgit do you really need an apple pencil for your ipad pro no you don't but if you can afford it i would recommend you get it it enables precise editing precise note taking drawing and for all your artistic purposes thanks again for watching this has just been a short overview and impression of the Apple Pencil based on my usage for about a week. Till I see you in the next video, do take care, have a great day and I'll see you again. Thank you and bye-bye.